I want to talk about the origin of my set mount. What's up guys? I am Jay with Prepared Citizens Training Group. Thank you so much for watching. Um, so today is kind of a kind of a sale video I guess if you will or more of an explanation. I, I want to talk about the origin of my set mount. Okay I, I think it's really important to talk about that. A lot of people misinterpret I think what the purpose is and um, I'm going to be the first one to tell you, I, I designed this thing, and I engineered it, designed it, uh, machined it, packaged it, I do everything with it, okay, I'm the only one making it, I've not seen this on the market, that's kind of what started this, I was looking for something like this on the market, it was nowhere to be found, I've looked for two years, and I finally said, you know what, I'm going to make it, and uh, here we are, so before we get too deep into this, I'm going to roll some clips for you to give you a kind of a backstory. It really explains mine, but I want you to hear it from these guys too, because these are pretty popular guys in the industry. These are no joke, and I'm going to have links, or not links, but I'll have the the uh, channel name and all that stuff if you want to go check out their channels. All these are great channels, but uh, it's just a couple of minutes of some other experts explaining uh, their take on the whole uh, tourniquet on a rifle and tourniquets in general. So check these guys out. Originally, uh, I did a deployment to Afghanistan and some of the SF guys I was with were running accoutrements to attach tourniquets. It was cobbled together stuff. I actually owned and operated a night vision hog hunting outfitting service. So I would take clients out into the swamps in North Florida, but I, I wanted a way to carry some extra, you know, mission support equipment with me. Here, uh, SOE single point sling, I mean, sorry, two point sling that has a tourniquet pouch for our rats. Tourniquet will go right in that bad boy. Uh, but I like the, the, the adjustable sling, I mean, sorry, the two point sling, um, just for, for its versatility with heavier guns. Things that you cannot improvise or cannot improvise quickly are what I recommend you stock your stuff with. That's why I think tourniquets are the end all to be like, if you could carry one thing, a tourniquet. If you could carry two things, two tourniquets. Keep a tourniquet on my buttstock. I didn't make that up. I got it from a friend of mine who was in the SEAL teams. He's, he was doing it and I said, why the fuck do you have a uh, tourniquet on your buttstock? And you know, it's pretty, it makes a hell of a lot of sense because you don't go anywhere with your gun. And if you get fucked up, chances are you're probably in a gunfight. So it's always gonna be right there, right next to you. You just rip it off the rubber bands and uh, put the damn thing on. So you will have to replace the rubber bands every once in a while too, because they're gonna get um, worn out and they'll break. Okay, guys, I hope after seeing that, maybe you're like, okay, I kind of see where this is going. So, uh, and then you may kind of understand where I'm coming from. So, first off, uh, this is this is my gun. This one's been in some videos lately. Um, you probably notice it, and it's been, this has been an awesome rifle. But uh, this is the rifle I currently have my set mount on. Um, this is my only AR with M-Lock at the moment. And um, that's why it's on there. My other guns are Picatinny. We're still coming up. Um, I say we. I'm still coming up with some uh, Picatinny designs. I'm still going through a couple. And um, subscribe on my website email list. Or subscribe here. Or follow the Facebook page. Or the Instagram. And uh, updates will come throughout that process. So. Still working on Picatinny, but I know the military has went to MLOC. A lot of law enforcement, all the guys around here, their patrol rifles are um, MLOC now. So 
I just thought it made sense to like, okay, let's focus on the M-Lock version first. That's what I did. Um, and I'm really happy with it. It's pretty simple. So I'll show you here. This is my little demo one that I take to shows and stuff with me. Uh, I'm going to try to... If you hear a bunch of stuff going on, that's my kids upstairs. So I do all this at home. It's just two bars of aluminum. This is 6061T6 aluminum. It is type 3 hard coated, uh, military grade. So basically the same coating that's on your Daniel Defense, your Midwest Industries, PSA, all the stuff, everything in the industry that's good uh, uses that coating. So I'm using the best coating you can get. Um, everything is done in-house, literally in my garage. I'll actually show you some pictures of my little machine, machine shop, uh, the stuff I'm using to make them. Um, again, I, I do this myself. Every single one of these, if you buy one, uh, everything was done by me. All the hardware is USA made. That was important to me. The shock cord is manufactured here in the USA. This is military grade shock cord. So, um, guys, it's pretty, it's definitely American made, 100% product. Um, but I want to talk about the, a couple of uses I guess for it. Um, I've sort of showed these before. Uh, staging a sling. That you don't have to be fancy. So many people think you have to, I don't know, make it look pretty. It's not about making it look pretty. It's about keeping the sling out of your way and keeping it from getting hung up. If you're pulling it out of the back of a vehicle, out of a closet, I don't know. Pick your poison. Out of a safe so your sling is not getting hung on other things. Uh, once you deploy the rifle, you can now pull the sling out. The way I've got it set up, I can shoot a full mag through this. Nothing is in the way of my ejection port. Still get my finger to my trigger. And um, I can actually still, even with the sling up against it, this is an ambidextrous safety, I can still manipulate my safety, which is good. So full control over the gun. Uh, first few rounds would probably be the only rounds you fire uh, like that. So. As soon as you can, you're going to get this sling out, get into your sling, and go to work. All right, so once you get into your sling, um, now you have a tourniquet and your weapon system on you. You're good to go. So I took my sling off because it's a little aggravating while I'm sitting here showing stuff on the camera. But um, so the, I guess let's get down to the logistics of this thing. So the, the primary design is to be able to put this tourniquet on some unused rail space without it melting or anything like that because uh, if you do the old rubber band trick like you would do to a stock, if you do that on your rail, it's going to melt those rubber bands quick, it, like really quick. And two, I've also seen where it started melting the tourniquet to the rail with enough gunfire, and that was about a little over three magazines, uh, 30 round mags through it. So yeah, that's where uh, my problem solving skills sprocket started turning, and I'm like, let's come up with something that I could put it there, because I like that, that spot. Um, so the aluminum, with the hard coating, I've got two pieces. That protects the heat enough to keep this thing from melting. Uh, the shock cord actually doesn't even get affected and uh, it just works. It works, it's, it's a cool design to where I can now put gear around my rail, my M-Lock rail, without having it get too hot, melt, break, whatever. So I'm super, I was super stoked about that. That was pretty cool. Um, again, this thing's very focused on military law enforcement and serious home defenders, not so much. For the folks, you know, if it's a range gun, guys, if it's just a fun gun, no, you don't. No, you should have a tourniquet on your, on your range belt or in your range bag. You know, you should have one there. Um, this 
is for the quick, immediate action dudes that do not have time to grab a bunch of stuff. Or in a bump in the night case where you just, you hear your door get kicked in and you grab your rifle. You have literally zero time to do anything else. You go straight to protecting you and your family. Now you got some uh, life-saving medical equipment on your home defense gun. This gun is not just uh, capable of putting a target down. It's also capable of keeping you alive now. Um, but there are times where even us, you know, we go to a range or something, we may not want to leave this tourniquet on here, and that's okay. Um, I'm going to show you how I do it. How I got mine set up, so let's uh, take our tourniquet off. And uh, now we got our elastic or our shock cord here you know that stuff gets in the way of everything so just lay one over run that one up run that one down and now it's completely out of the way does not stick off the rifle hardly any it feels extremely slick on there so that's how I'd recommend going to the range if you're changing an optic doing some zeroing or maybe just some fun shooting. You know, you don't have to have your tourniquet on there. This is going to stay out of the way. It is also not going to melt like this. Uh, so you're good to go, guys. So I tried to make it to where, you know, if you do want to take it off, you're not going to get snagged up on stuff and things like that. Um, let's see. I'm trying to make sure I answer all the questions I've had about this thing. So, uh, installation videos are on YouTube. Um, for anybody interested in one that may, or if you're just like still curious, want to see how they're put on, I go through the process uh, a couple of different ways. You can put pouches on it too. Um, yeah. And, uh, guys, that's, I mean, I guess that's pretty much it. And uh, you can honestly use this for whatever your imagination lets you use it for. You can, I've, I've demoed putting another mag right there. If you want another 30 round mag, you can put it right there. And it will hold it just fine. It will be there until it'll be ready when you are. So, uh, so yeah. Guys, that's how I use it. That's the reason it come about. And um, I just hope that, I don't know, maybe answer some questions for you guys. If you guys have any more questions you'd like to ask, or if you'd like to purchase one, please go to the website. Um, there'll probably be a link in the description. The website will definitely be at the end of the video. And um, yeah, just be sure to uh, be an asset to those around you, not a liability.